Good afternoon. I have with me today Chris Giraldini to talk to us about PTSD and natural healing here on Talk Story TV. Um, nice to have you here today, Chris. Thank you so much for having me, Julia, and I am thrilled to be sharing this information with your audience. In times of stress, Many of us don't know what to do that brings on quick stress relief. Right. And I have found a tool that I found the most powerful for this kind of situation. And that was found through the uh, post-traumatic stress disorder that I encountered after my head-on collision four years ago. And uh, I was in a really difficult situation. I was very depressed. I, I had persistent suicidal thoughts. And nothing that I was doing at that time to help with my depression was helping me. So I was, uh, I was in a really tough spot. And a friend of mine introduced me to EFT. And uh, after that first session, I looked up a psychologist who uses this as her main way of uh, treating her patients. Mm -hmm. And that's basically what I did for uh, several months. And I never needed to take a drug. And I know that people look at me many times saying that's not possible. Yes, it is. Depression doesn't just happen especially PTSD. There are lots of incidents in a person's life that build emotions, and it's usually about repressed or suppressed emotions that mm -hmm. we have that slowly build up depression. And it's kind of interesting, Julia, to know that uh, according to the statistics, about 70 to 80 percent of the population suffers from some degree of depression. They just don't know it. They continue to function. They continue to go on with their lives. But for many, many people, that joy of living, you know, waking up like, oh. yes, I'm about to take over the day and all <laughs> of that is not there. And, uh, you know, it's the kind of thing that we tend to have as kids and then we lose it throughout our life because of experiences that we allow to get to us because we don't know any better, because we don't know any quick way, an effective way to deal with this. And this is what emotional freedom technique does or EFT. And nowadays I use an even um, more... Uh, effective and faster way to do EFT, and it's called faster EFT. And I have had a tremendous results for myself, for my patients, for my clients, for my family, my friends, and I can't speak highly enough of this. I really can't. Mm -hmm. And tell us what what is it? What is this the tapping technique? Yes, yeah, and okay. that's what I like best about it, because you can do it anywhere you go. You, mm -hmm. It's a portable stress relief system that's available to you all the time. All you have to use is your hands, you know, tap a little bit in certain areas of your uh, head and torso. But if you don't remember anything when you are in a real challenge, just step here. I call it the 911 um, stress relief tap. point. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and that 911 tapping point. Just here on the collarbone. Uh, tap, 
And as and that's the other thing about EFT that I love. You can just vent. And you're like, I can't believe this is happening again. Why am I here? Yada, yada. And you just keep talking and tapping. And that... And you, can, you don't have to say positive things? You can just say anything? No. That's a misconception. Thank you for asking. Because a lot of the positive thinking movement is like, well, I will just think positive, positively and things will change. They won't. Because where, usually, where we find ourselves is in a negative area. Mm -hmm. You look at a family situation and it's not changing and it's mm -hmm. getting to you. So what EFT does is it acknowledges where you are. Because only when you drain the energy of those feelings that are unproductive, only when you dissolve that, then you can move forward. Otherwise, every time that you say something positive like, oh, my child is the best student in class, there is a little voice behind you that says, have you seen his latest uh, report? <laughs> Hello? You know, so it counteracts everything that you are trying to do. And this little voice has uh, one purpose, which is to keep us safe. No one was born with the ability or the knowledge to strive. Our whole body, our whole psyche is built around survival. So basically, it will say, well, this is good and this is not. And if the new thing is not good or not safe according to our inner circuitry, mm -hmm. then we are not going to go for it. Because there is a very strong pull for us to stay where we are. Because where we are may be really uncomfortable, but it's familiar and it's safe. So moving to this next level of achievement or of happiness is a stretch. And it's perceived by our subconscious as dangerous. As so well? It's like, no, 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 no. And that's why EFT is so incredibly effective, because it acknowledges where you are. And that's, you know, in the example that I gave earlier, if your child is having difficulty in school, you can tap on yourself first, and then you can tap on your child, because that will help your child as well. There are reasons why your child is not doing well in school. And it would be good to open the dialogue and really, you know, find out what it is that's actually happening. And also the EFT or the tapping will help the child open up more easily. And it will help him or her with her or his own issues in school. But it starts with you. So if your child is having this challenge, you just tap. I can't believe I just received this report. Look at these awful grades. And you say what's going on in your mind. And after a while, it's like, oh, okay. Maybe it's not so bad after all. What can I do? You start seeing new possibilities when and I speak for myself, but I know it to be true for many of my patients and clients. When I am in that frame of mind that nothing is working, I can't see anything different. I can't. Uh -huh. I'm just too emotionally involved in that negativity. So it's very hard that you see different possibilities. And that's where EFT comes in. It's like acknowledge where you are. And if everything is, you know, hellish, stay there and tap until you begin to feel that grip loosening. 
and then you can start asking questions. Well, maybe there is something I can do. Maybe I can tap. Maybe I can continue to tap for the rest of the day until things improve, you know. And mm -hmm. as you keep tapping, <laughs> you, you <laughs> let go of these feelings and then you start moving in the right direction or not right per se, but more productive direction, I would say. I don't like I, so much I the actually right have and tried it and just I have tried it and it does work. Oh, yeah. I have you to are say that. With EFT. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. I highly recommend yeah. that viewers who are interested go to the, go to tvbackstory.com and read Dr. Giraldi's, um, <laughs> I'm sure I said that wrong. Giraldini. That's okay. Giraldini's <laughs> blog. And you, you did some, have some links on that, right? Yes, I do, and my site is easystresssolutions.com, and I have videos, I have uh, blogs, I have uh, different things there that uh, your audience can check and see what applies, you know. And okay. the other thing, too, about EFT is that if I have seen it uh, being used for veterans coming back from the war, and I don't know if you have seen those videos, and they are unbelievably powerful. And I thought, goodness, if it worked for veterans who endured horrendous mm -hmm. stress during the war, yeah. it, it the worked effectively for them, what can it do for people like us who are not subjected to that kind of environment? You know, Correct, yes. And uh, it's very, very hopeful. And will you be at the um, chat room when we broadcast this show? I am sorry. Uh, we have a again? chat room on the broadcast page when we broadcast the show. And if you could uh -huh. be there, people can ask you questions. Sure. You just let me know when that will be. And okay. I will, uh, I'll make sure to be there. And I see that you've read, you've written several books. Could you tell us about all of your books a little bit? Oh, sure. I'd be glad to. Thank you. Uh, well, the latest one is about money management because nothing stresses people out more than money challenges. <laughs> and yeah. it's based on my, ex yeah, right? It's mm -hmm. based on my own experience about um, what I have done that worked for myself and also based on knowledge that I got from seminars and books that I read. So my first book, the one that I'm talking about, is Money Management 101, 21 Proven Money Saving Tips. And this is on Amazon. All of my books are on Amazon. They're also on my site. The other one that I wrote is um, How to End Emotional Hunger, The Ultimate Weight Loss Solution. And that approaches weight loss from um, a very complete approach because food is not the problem. It is the emotions mm -hmm. driving the eating patterns. And until you... Uh-oh, we, something happened. Um, I don't know why her feed has frozen, but if it doesn't come back soon, I'll go ahead and close this.